So this is going to be a little bit of documentation on the grill guards for 60 to 66 trucks. Now this one came off of a 60, uh, just a 60. This is a 61, but it looks like the pictures I've seen online from some of the original GM ads show this grill guard on multiple different uh, trucks from 60 to 66. So I don't think there were many differences or variances of it. So for example, here's a 63 to 66 truck and you can see the um, rounded edges on the bottom of it are a little bit different, but essentially it's the same exact grill guard. I think that might just be because this is a drawing instead of an actual picture of one, but it looks like they would have used them for uh, the whole generation of the trucks and not just the earlier ones, but you never know. But, um, so the truck I took it off of had this guard, obviously, and it had two supports on the back of it right there and through right there on the truck. They're right here. I've also cleaned them up a little bit. They're not fancy, but they're nice. But um, I'll input a picture here. So you can see the two holes to the bottom left and right of the grill. Even though this is the 60 grill instead of a 61, it's the same principle. The holes were put in pretty barbarically. They're not exactly the nicest quality, but they got the job done and it's probably on assembly line getting just put together. So you can see on that truck, the holes that are right there and right there. And if we go under here, you can see the holes on the frame rail right in front of that. They're, it's gonna fall on me. Right there on both sides is a hole that goes through the frame rail. It's a boxed frame on the front. So that's where that would mount, but I opted not to go with that because I didn't want to drill any extra holes in the truck. So the guard has five mounts on the bumper. Uh, I was gonna take the old bumper to get a um, idea of where they are, but I just kind of eyeballed it and it looks fine. So this side matches up pretty good with the bumper. This side is just as good, but my bumper is a little tweaked. So this kind of changes it a little bit, but um, yeah, it's essentially what it is. It's kind of like, it's essentially just bar stock around the outside. And then it looks like it's almost a V channel or a U channel that goes four across and then one continuous piece that goes down the center. Uh, this bottom piece is kind of a curved piece to follow the bumper. And that's what it looks like. I just did a rattle can paint job on it, but it looks good. And I've never really seen them on a truck before. So if you've seen one or you know where one's at, let me know. I love the look of them. And I was talking to a guy about possibly uh, reproducing them, but it doesn't sound like that's going to happen for a little bit. He's a little busy with other stuff, but maybe someday these will be on the market as aftermarkets, but... For the time being, this is what we, go, we gotta work with as originals. This one's a little tweaked. It's got bend right there that goes in, and that I couldn't fix that. That was just too much of a bend fix, but um, that's essentially what it looks like. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of documentation of what they look like. So this is something that kind of threw me for a loop on the idea of it being a GM grill guard. So this is like a 60s Ford truck and you can see the grill guard on this one is obviously a different shape for, and it's a different application, but it's very, very similar construction with the, having bar stock around the outside perimeter and having U or V channel on the center and the four dividing bars with the one that connects it. So it almost makes me think this is more of a dealer installed thing that's maybe bought from an aftermarket market company it might not have much to do with gm but it doesn't really make a difference it's still an old grill guard and if they used them or if they use them on multiple different type of trucks that would obviously make them a little bit more common but i've never seen this one either so i love to find any information about them if anyone knows anything but so far only thing i can find is a little bit on the forums and a little bit of old guys thinking they know what they're talking about